Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to look at creating tileable textures in Photoshop and then bringing those into Unity. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are, and we're gonna look at putting together a tileable texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off down in Photoshop. I currently have a 256 by 256 artboard. And then in the artboard, I have the background layer as very, very dark. You can make that whatever you want. And then I also have uh, an extra layer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a lighter color. I'm gonna go and just spend just a little bit of time drawing in some rocks, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so there we go. This is a very simplistic version of rocks. It gives you a place to start from. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just save this as a PNG, and then I'm gonna go ahead and then bring this into Unity and we'll see how it tiles. And then I'm gonna go over into Unity and bring that sprite in. So by default, it, it is brought in as a texture type of default, and then it also has a wrap mode of repeat, which is perfectly fine. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do this real simple by creating a 2D sprite square. And then with that, I can just take and make this any size that I want. And then with that, I'm also going to then create a material for my rocks. Okay. And we're going to use that to fill this space. So let's go ahead and create a new material. And I'm going to call this rocks. And then with that rocks, I'm gonna with that rocks material, I'm gonna take my rock and drop it into my base map. Okay. And then over in our sprite, we're gonna go ahead and take the material that we're filling this with with our rocks material. So I bring that in and you can see that it's a little bit stretched, which is perfectly fine. I'm gonna go down into my shader, and then down below you can see we can set up the tiling of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the tiling on both the X and the Y so that we're kind of more in the spacing that we need. And you can see that it's really, really dark. Let's go ahead and take this and just lighten this up a little bit. Lock the alpha of this. I'm gonna go ahead and just lighten these rocks up and let's just do a fill. So our lot rocks are a lot lighter so we can see those. I'm gonna go ahead and save this again and I'll just save over my previous PNG. And there we go, we can see our rocks are a lot bigger. Now, here's the problem that we have. You can see where there's edges along where the, the sprites tile. So I need to fix that, okay? So how I'm gonna do that is over in Photoshop, what I want to do is to see how these parts tile together. So the easy way to fix this is with a filter of other and then offset. So this is 256 by 256. I'm gonna go ahead and offset it by half that distance. So I'm gonna do that just on one of these axes at a time. So I'm gonna do the vertical. So we'll just do a positive 128, which is half the distance. Go ahead and click OK. And you can see here is where the edge, the top edge and the bottom edge of our sprite were before. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go in and fix this real quick with my paintbrush. Okay, so then if I offset this again, so if I hit filter and then offset again, you can see that that naturally tiles really, really well. So I did that on one axis, I need, also need to do it on the other. So let's go ahead and then do this. I like to do this on one axis at a time just because it allows me to focus on just that one line of issue. So instead of on the vertical axis, we're going to do that on the horizontal axis. So 128. And again, you can see that line coming right through my sprite. So all I need to do is just repair that and then we should be good to go. Cool, so I think that works. We can go ahead and just test it real quick by just going back, offsetting again, and it looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and resave this over our previous sprite. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now back into Unity. It's gonna recompile and boom, there we go. We have a perfectly tileable texture. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.